So for this second part, we're going to analyze F6, and we're going to look at all the syllabus topics um, in the F6 uh, as paper, and we're going to look at how frequently topics have been tested between December 07 and June 2010. Now, as I said to you in the earlier section, this paper is divided into five questions, which are quite clearly defined by the examiner. So we're going to analyze the syllabus by looking at what was tested in each of the five questions. So we're going to start by looking at question number one. Now, if you remember, question number one is going to be a, a question involving individuals and their income. So usually in that question, it's going to be on income tax calculations, and you could possibly have a bit of national insurance thrown in there uh, as well to calculate. So again, you can see a lot of calculating. So let's have a look at uh, question one. Now, on this analysis, uh, what I've, I've looked at is all the papers from, uh, the, well, there was the pilot paper, which was uh, the first one we had. And then we've had a December 07 exam, a June 08 exam, uh, December 08, a June 09, December 09. And most recently, we've had the June 2010 exam. And I mean, if we look at some of the, the topics that come up in question one, very, very frequently, um, some of them, obviously, the topics are less frequently tested, but some of them are practically always tested. So, for example, quite a, an important one. Uh, let's have a look. Quite an important one here is called the adjustment of profits. So that's where you're a, um, running a business and you've got something called trading income. So remember, individuals pay income tax on their income. And I always say to students that there are five different types of income and uh, they all end with the word income. So you've got trading income is one of them and that belongs to somebody who is self-employed. So you can see that in question one, uh, trading income gets tested quite a lot, adjusting your profits. And we can see here that that was in the June um, 08 exam and the June 09 exam and the December 09 and the June uh, 10 exam as well. So adjustment of profits, are quite a, an important topic. Plants and machinery and uh, calculating cap allowances, again, you know, that's a very, very commonly uh, tested exam topic. You see they're going right across the board, coming up um, a lot. If you are self-employed, one of the rules that you have to learn is called the opening and closing year rules. Now you can see that the opening year rules in question one, I'm not saying it's not examined in other questions, but in question one, not that popular, came up in December 09, but that was um, there. And then closing year rules again, not that popular, uh, but came up um, in the pilot paper. Income tax computations, well, I would have said, you know, more or less income tax computations is a, is a certainty uh, in question one. But you can see here uh, that in the last exam, um, it didn't come up. So, you know, that was a bit of a shock, actually, that it didn't come up in the last exam. So very, very uh, unusual. Um, employment income, again, is um, usually a very, very uh, commonly tested uh, topic. Um, and you can see that employment income, you know, was coming up a, an awful, an awful lot across the board there. And then, you know, for a couple of exams now, the last two exams, we haven't seen that topic. So, you know, that's a sign, I think, I think I've got to read that as a sign that that's very likely to come up um, in the next exam. Um, employment income, that's if you're employed, you know, if, you have, if your employer is, uh, you have an employer and an employee and you have this thing called employment, like salaries and um, we're talking about benefits and all of these topics, benefits, uh, all really go, go with the employment income topic. So you can see that they come up a fair amount as well. Um, other um, topics that are quite commonly tested in question one, well, you can see here national insurance in question one comes up um, now and again, uh, came up in the December 07 exam, 
and then it came up in the June 08 exam and, and, and the June 10 exam, you had national insurance calculations in question number one. Partnership, well, partnership is not really a topic uh, that I would associate with question one usually. Uh, however, in the last exam, we did have it in question one, uh, partnership. So that's uh, a, bit, uh, a bit unusual. So um, got to be prepared for really a lot of different topics in question one. Remember, question one is going to be for 25 or 30 marks. Um, so question one. Question uh, two, if you remember... Um, is uh, corporation tax. Uh, that's going to be for 25 or 30 marks as well, remember. Um, and we'll have a, a look at this uh, particular topic. I mean, again, uh, you can see that uh, adjustment of profits comes up uh, a lot. I mean, that was the same as, but this is from a company point of view as opposed uh, to an individual. And you can see uh, that that topic comes up, you know, remarkably frequently, either adjusting um, the profit or the loss. And you can see uh, that that's a very, very common topic. Um, having said that, we didn't have anything in the last uh, exam. So the last exam was, was a little bit un unusual, I would say. Uh, Cap allowances again there on plant and machinery, another uh, very, I mean, you know, can see there every single exam, plant and machinery coming up every single time. So very, very, very important. Um, also industrial buildings uh, coming up a fair amount as well. Corporation tax computations, again, uh, are very, being able to calculate uh, corporation tax, uh, another frequently tested topic. Um, or um, losses. In the last exam, we had uh, losses, which is uh, another, you know, fairly, fairly common topic. Uh, losses there. So trading losses um, and very common. So question uh, number two now, uh, looking at uh, the topics that come in there, calculating corporation tax, always going to be calculating corporation tax in question two. Moving on to the next question um, in your paper, which is going to be question three. So question three, remember question three is on, uh, on capital gains. Um, question number three is either going to be companies calculating capital gains for companies because companies pay corporation tax on their gains or it's going to be for individuals. Okay, let me do that in a different colour. Uh, oh no, it's uh, uh, or individuals there. Uh, you can see in the last exam, um, it was companies. Uh, companies came in the last exam. Um, companies also came up in the uh, December 08 exam. So December 08 and June 10. Uh, was companies. Individuals, I think, are, is a bit more frequently uh, tested. Uh, individuals, you can see they're coming up in all the other exams, actually, isn't it? So there's individuals coming up in all the other exams. Uh, so like for, for two exams, uh, you've got f five exams which were individuals. So more question threes are for individuals and calculating gains, whereas companies uh, appear less frequently. Um, quite a few topics um, within the, the uh, topic of capital gains and you can see uh, an analysis of all the topics and how frequently they are tested. So um, questions on capital gains. 20 marks, remember, 20 marks for uh, this uh, question. 20 marks. Um, Let's move on to questions four and five. Um, remember that question four is going to be for 15 marks and question five is going to be for 10 marks. So um, what sort of topics do we get under question four or five? Well, we can get things like pensions, uh, employment income. You can see there, not only does it come in question one, but can it also come in question number four or five, employed versus self-employed. Opening year rules, remember, I said apply to individuals who are self-employed. We can see the opening and closing year rules coming up a bit here. Change of accounting date. Um, income tax liability. So national insurance, you can see there coming up a bit. Uh, losses for companies. Uh, losses for companies there coming up a bit. There, December 09, it came up in. Uh, partnerships, um, you can see there coming up uh, in question 
uh, number four or five, self-assessment, uh, badges of trade. And badges of trade uh, came up in the December 09 exam as well. Hadn't been tested uh, prior to that, that particular exam. Long period of account, a long period of account for companies. Uh, quite a while since that's come up. Um, tax avoidance and evasion. That's uh, something we were talking about. Remember knowing the differences between the two. And you can see that tax avoidance and evasion came up in uh, the June 10 exam. Um, so question four or five, usually companies or uh, individuals and uh, can be on absolutely anything. Remember the only sort of uh, final topic that we need to talk about um, is VAT. Uh, remember that VAT is going to be for at least 10 marks. All right, at least uh, 10 marks on VAT. You can see that in every single exam uh, we've had um, VAT. Uh, what, have we, what did we have in the last exam? The flat rate scheme we had in the last exam. Uh, we had, what else did we have? Let's see, we had accounting for VAT, so working out VAT, something that comes up quite a lot, accounting for VAT. Coming up there, calculating VAT, that is. Um, uh, a little bit on uh, when you should register for VAT and uh, tax point. Tax point came up in the last exam, so defining the tax point. Uh, contents of a VAT invoice, something that hasn't come up for a while. Contents of a VAT invoice, I'd say, is uh, something that's going to be due. Uh, what else have we got? Cash accounting scheme and uh, annual accounting scheme. Uh, something, again, possibly due to come up soon. So, analysing the topics and, you know, you can get quite a lot of information about the subject by just looking at um, uh, the syllabus areas and seeing, you know, how often and um, how important they are, giving you an idea of, you know, how much time maybe you should spend on learning them. So, the examiner is very clear about what, each of the questions are going to be on and therefore you've got to make sure you master uh, these particular questions so that you can maximise your marks. So, looking at the syllabus areas and seeing uh, an analysis of how often they are tested. Later on I'm, I'm going to choose one of the topics um, to, to look at with you just as a, a sort of an introduction to the topic, one of the syllabus areas and the one that I've chosen is uh, capital allowances on plant and machinery and if we sort of look at uh, that topic we can see that it comes up in question number one, alright here we are here uh, plant and machinery, seeing right across the board there, apart from in the December 08 exam. And also, uh, we've got it in question number two as well, coming up uh, a great deal. So, uh, coming right across the board in every single exam. So, that, I, that would really indicate to you that it's very, very important that you can understand it. So, that's the, the topic for later on that I'm planning to, to look at with you.